This is an example of how to go through and spell check your paper using the Microsoft Grammar and Spell Checker. You must start off by going to the File menu and then selecting Options and then selecting Proofing. And under Proofing, you'll notice that under Writing Style, there's a Grammar and Style Check or just a Grammar Only. You want to make sure that you select the Grammar and Style. When you look at the settings, you'll see that there are a number of different options that you can highlight and you can choose which options you want to be able to have the, uh, the system check for. Once you've completed setting your, your, putting your settings the way you would like to, click Recheck Document, Confirm Yes, and click OK. Then when you go to review documents, you'll see the spelling and grammar check show up on the upper left hand corner. If you click on that, it will begin to go through and start stepping you through the process of correcting your paper. You'll notice that down here it gives you an opportunity to change this to a different wording and in this case, you actually want to, uh, to change the entire wording of the, the setting. So let's just go on to ignore this one time and go on. Uh, you'll notice here it's giving you a chance to change the word real to very, which is a better format. Go back to all right. Let's go ahead and just change that now just so we can see what it looks like. And then it comes down and tells you that this is first person. Now, if it's first person, that's okay for some essays that you'll be writing if it's a personal reflection essay. Otherwise, you might want to change that into a different person, uh, third person, for example. You can go ahead and click ignore once here. Again, we've got the same issue. I want to ignore that rule in this particular essay that I've written, so I'm going to say ignore rule. And then it's going to come up and it's going to start prompting you for a spacing issue. We can either correct or uh, accept that. Here it's telling us that we've got the passive voice. And so now we want to be able to change that wording to where from the passive voice uh, it's showing in the active voice. So we would want to rewrite this ver or this passage in order to accommodate that. It's going down to the next sentence. Here is a case where we have a misspelled word. And so it gives us the correct spelling so we can just change that. And I'm going to close this down now, but you can see all of the highlighted areas here that is going to give you an opportunity to go back and correct. So once you've done that, you'll be able to uh, identify the areas where your paper needs some help, some work from a grammar and spelling standpoint. And this should eliminate a lot of the errors that you've got.